This is Car Shops and Collections, and welcome to SEMA 2023. We're on our way to see Richard Rawlings and his SEMA builds. Come on. Holy smokes, look at this. It's Richard Rawlings. Dude, this isn't a treat, man. Yeah, it is. It's, uh, it's been a long time to get here today, but uh, we're here. We brought the Texas skid mark with us, and you know, it seems to be getting quite the reception. The reception is huge. Rece anytime we do a build, the reception is always huge. But this one here, 68, right? 1968 C10? Yes. Uh, well, it's a C15 because it's a GMC. Okay. But same thing. And you guys did this within 45 days. You decided 45 days ago, we're coming to SEMA, and you put this thing together. And uh, we uh, also built three other cars for SEMA while we were doing that. Which is just nuts, it man. Is. It's, it's pretty crazy. It's, uh, the, it's just the way Gas Monkey is. When we decide we're gonna do something, we do it up. And this car has got uh, just a ton. Let's come around the front here, and let's start, start up front here. What'd you guys put in this thing? So this has the new L8T, um, high performance uh, Chevrolet uh, motor. Uh, LME uh, intake system, and uh, it's backed by an eight-speed automatic transmission. Um, it's putting out about 700 horsepower, maybe. 700 horsepower, that's insanity. Uh, well, it's all wrapped up in insanity. I mean, this, this entire billet grill, you've never seen anything like this. This is full CNC. It took 72 hours of CNC machining to make this grill. Uh, the machine just sitting there, cutting away, cutting away. How much of this is original, because we saw you when you found this thing, it was in a field, you're looking at some other buys, yeah. you see this thing, you walk over and decide to buy it. I'm thinking, what's he gonna do with this thing? How much of this is that original truck that we saw in your episode? Not much, yeah. to tell you the truth. <laughs> Maybe the cab and some doors, uh -huh. because the original truck was a, was a step side, and we went to a fleet side, and uh, worked with uh, you know our guys here at Skog and Dickey. It's so clean, man. That's ah, wicked. It's yeah, wicked uh, clean. And uh, we, you know, Curry rear ends, TCI chassis, Chevrolet Performance, Will Wood brakes, I mean, you, you name it. Uh, uh, JTX forged wheels, everybody just, everybody was humping to get it all done. It wasn't just us, but it was a lot of partners on this build to get it all happening. The paint, it's such a unique paint scheme. Tell me more about it. Well, I actually launched my hot sauces a, about two months ago and I was going through some, uh, uh, some uh, boxing and materials and things and these colors just stuck out to me. So I thought, why not? So now we have the Texas skid mark, the hot sauce and the truck. <laughs> is the truck for sale? Uh, it is. The truck is for sale. I Someone's watching, they want to buy it. The truck's for sale. Can we see inside it? Absolutely. What'd you guys do inside here besides artwork? Yeah, everything. Everything is just over the top done, spark steering wheel. Um. You, you, your crew, I'm a huge fan of the show, and you've had some great guys work with you through the years. Mm -hmm. It seems like though the crew you have right now has got to be one of your best crews. I really do believe that. I mean, they're standing around here, they're back here, they work their ass off, and, uh, it, and I mean, we even had to put a camper at the shop. They were sleeping in a camper in the parking lot because they didn't even have time to go home. How does that make you feel when, you, when your guys, in the 45, 40, 45 days, put together four builds? It's pretty cool. Yeah. I mean, most, most shops work all year long on their SEMA build, or maybe even two or three years. And uh, so uh, we've got a really good, great crew, and I'm proud to go to work with those guys every day. And I love the fact, too, that you're not just, you're not just the truck guy. You're building Ferraris. You guys build everything, which is really cool. We don't specialize in any one thing, uh, and we try not to ever build the same thing twice. So uh -huh. it's pretty wild. Last question of all your builds. And I think I've seen majority of them. Yes, sir. Where does this rank? I think this is in the top five for sure, maybe even the top three. This truck really, really turned out just phenomenal. Uh, the paint body, Coy and his team, and the uh, rest of the guys here, Josh and uh, Kenny, just really nailed it. Here's one of the builders of this insane build. It's Josh from Gas Monkey Garage. How's it going, man? Man, hey, it's going good. We're a little tired, but excited. We made it. You know, we're here. We're presenting both, all four cars, you know? So it's been a, it's been a heck of a ride. We drove straight through 24 hours. Did you really? Yeah, yeah. We, tried, we hauled both the cars ourselves. So, I mean, we're beat. <laughs> how, does, how does it feel, man, when you, when you unveiled this thing to see, I mean, there were close to a thousand people yeah. gathered around this booth to see the work that you do. How does that make you feel, man? No, so that's the point where you, that's where you feel it. That's where it makes it, you know, worth all the time and all the effort and the sleepless nights. You know, we were sitting here and I was down and tired and everything. And the moment that thing came off and everybody, you know, got excited, it was like it gave you the energy, you know, right? it got exciting. But it's been nervous up until that point, so. Let's walk around it. Like, what are some standout features to you? Like, when you were working on this thing, I, was, I watched every episode. Yeah. When you're building this thing with, like, what were some of the hiccups along the way? Oh, hiccups, man. <laughs> well, do we have that long of time? Uh, let's see here. How much battery life do we have? <laughs> 
Uh, actually, this build went really smooth. There yeah. wasn't a lot of hiccups, if I'm being honest, dude. Uh, engine fired almost first try. Uh, you know, wheels, tires fit, suspension fit. We actually planned this out really well uh -huh. because we knew we were in such a you know a short crunch. But uh, you know, we we just try to think of everything before we got there. You know, we're coming in an engine booth, so we want all the eyes on their engine. Yeah. Uh -huh. You know, this is Scog and Dickies, so we smoothed everything in there. We didn't make anything. You know, no no bead rolls, no pretty stuff on the firewall. Smooth everything out to make sure all the attention is on their motor. And it actually came out to where it, you know, it looked gorgeous in it's there. It's stunning, you know? man. I keep saying that. This is artwork. <laughs> Let's come around the side here. I, I remember at one point you said the engine was capable of how many horsepower? Are they capable yeah. of? Oh, the, so they're turning on the stock bottom end and everything, 2,000, 2000 horsepower. Mind-blowing when you said that. <laughs> yeah. Mind-blowing. I yeah. think Richard's draw uh, hit, dropped uh, when yeah, you said absolutely. that. absolutely. It's a monster. What are your thoughts on the paint scheme? I love I love the paint scheme. Okay, when we're sitting there designing this paint scheme and he says what he wants, the only thing that came to my mind, I was like, Richard, that's an 80s paint job. <laughs> that's not. That doesn't go with this truck. But once again, just like every time we do something with him and we question him, it lands perfect. I mean, yeah. you couldn't ask for a prettier paint job on a truck to me. You know, it's gorgeous. Let's talk about you. I mean, watching the show, your 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 personality is contagious. You're a very happy, outgoing guy. <laughs> What's it like to walk around SEMA? And you have the fans coming up to you and, and love your work. What's that yeah. like for you? Uh, it's exciting. You know, this is really the first time out like that for uh -huh. me. And it's for ha to have people come up and say what you say, you know, that they like watching me because it makes them smile. It they does, man. Up. That's good to me. I love that. I love that. That's what we want to be here for. We want to build the cool rides, but we also want to make you happy, you know, and want to watch the show. So it's super awesome. I love it. What's what's the next thing for you guys? Next thing is probably another Ferrari build. Really? Yeah. You have a couple at the shop, right? We got a few of them. So <laughs> we got, we got, we got a few of them. Yeah, we got to figure out what we're doing. Uh, we're probably another Ferrari build. Um, we're talking about doing another truck build for fun that's gonna be more like a road race and everything. Okay. But uh, we really haven't sat down, we haven't even time to sit down and, and nail down what we wanna start for SEMA next year because we do obviously don't wanna do this again, you know? 45 days, right? That was too much, it was too much. We're so tired, but uh, we, you know, we wanna plan it out. We got a few things in mind, you know? A few different cars in mind. Everybody will have to just watch out for that one. You ever think of going high? You guys always go low in the trucks. I mean, yeah, yeah, we, you know, we yeah. talked about it here and there, but we like low, we like fast, we like loud, you know. Uh, it works. Yeah. That's a good title of a show, yeah, too, right? Show. Yeah, right. Fast and loud. <laughs> mm. So much is wrong with that. Josh, man, this is a treat, brother. Hey, thank you thank so you much. Thank you so man. much, dude. Thank you. Congratulations on this spectacular build, man. Thanks, man. We'll see you later. If you want your car, shop, or collection featured on the show, then shoot us an email at cars, shops, and collections at gmail.com. That's cars, shops, and collections at gmail.com. And thanks for watching, and be sure and subscribe so you don't miss any future episodes of Cars, Shops, and Collections.